Morning guys, what's going on? It's me, your online browser Jasper's deck and welcome back to the vlog. Some updates for you guys. 24th of January, do you know what that is? That is the day the Jasper's deck eggplant edition drop. Woohoo! Super duper hyped. And not only that, that day is also my birthday. Yay! I'm really, really looking forward to that day. As you guys may know, the New Deck Order, my company, has a YouTube channel under the title School of Cartistry. On School of Cartistry, we just released a super easy to do, very epic looking two-handed cut. If you're interested in learning that, check out the video right there. But I bring this up because I actually have another different YouTube channel, which is a YouTube channel, a much smaller YouTube channel called Unboxing Things. I personally am a fan of products that are packaged in a really, really nice way. And I always like seeing what expensive brands like to do to package and, you know, value add to their products. Which leads me to today's video. Because my birthday is coming soon, Chanel actually went online and placed an order for my birthday present. And I have no idea what it is. I only know that the package came in yesterday and Chanel is a master of buying really, really awesome gifts. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this video. I'm really excited to see what's in the box. So let's get down to unboxing things. All right, so here is what the package came in. The box itself is an absolutely normal cardboard box. Let's open this up. Chanel has been hyping up this product for a while now, so I'm actually really excited to see what is inside. Okay, set aside the box. So off the bat, the first thing we see is this paper-like material. Um, a lot of luxury brands like to package their stuff with this kind of paper on top of it. I'm not very sure what that's about, but it does add a little bit of mystery to the product. Let's set this aside. Saint Laurent. Oh my god, how much did you spend? Ch Chanel! Chanel, I told you not to buy anything too expensive, Chanel. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is, this is, this is crazy. This is gonna be a little bit on the expensive side. I started off this video at, at a 5 upon 10 levels of hype. Now I'm like at a 8 upon 10 or something. Alright, so there's three main packages right here. Um, let's first begin with the smallest one. The material of the envelope itself is this nice matte paper. And it opens up this way. Um. <laughs> um, on the card inside it says St. Lawrence at the top right here. Happy birthday and then um, a word appears over here. And at the bottom it says ysl.com. The material of the paper is sturdy, but it's not like card. It's it's still you know A4 printing paper kind of material, but a slightly posher version of it. I'm totally not letting you guys read what that card says. Mm, nope. Next up is a thicker envelope. It feels like there's folded paper in there. Um, the envelope seems to be the same material as that envelope right there. The text here does feel like it's silk screened on, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Hmm. Ah, oh wow. Alright, so it seems that when you buy stuff from St. Lauren, you have up to 30 days to send it back if you want to get it switched for something else. Interesting. On the next page is a receipt for the item. I'm $690! Chanel, I told you not to overspend. Why you do this? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Let's just slide this receipt back in there. Fold this up. Really nice envelope though. All right, so with that ridiculous price tag out of the way, let's get down to the main event. Sturdy filling box. There's the logo St. Laurent in the front with an indentation in the form of a square or you could think of it as like a picture frame going around the logo. There's a little bow that goes around all the way to the back like this. I wonder if I can remove it without untying the knot. Maybe not. The ribbon is made with this very interesting weave-like pattern. It's rough on the hands. Very, very 
non-elastic and gives a completely different vibe from the Burberry ribbon that we saw previously. Wow, there's even a little pouch that it comes in. Pick up the pouch. Inside the box, there is also a tag. It says St. Laurent Paris, YSL.com at the bottom. You can see it right here. And on the back of the tag, it says tags must remain attached for exchanges or returns. Not attached to the product. Small bag of silica gel, of course. And, okay, what is this? There seems to be some kind of tag in which the brand and some control numbers are printed on. This one's printed on hard card. A card that seems to showcase the serial number of the product. A little booklet explaining that there might be an RFID tag in the product. What did Chanel buy? A certificate of authenticity and a little instruction guide as to how to maintain the quality of your product. I think it's a little bit intense how often the St. Laurent logo is used. <laughs> like it looks like I bought like five different St. Laurent products but in actual fact all of this is for just one product. Enough mucking around, let's get down to the main event. The product comes in a cloth bag that is double layered. The inside layer is white as you can see right here and the outside layer is black with the St. Laurent logo printed on the front. Let's slide out the main product. Whoa! Whoa! I just spit a little bit of saliva on there. Nope, that's bad. Right in the front in a brass colored metal is the vertical YSL logo. I've talked to her about it a lot. I talked about how I love the design of this logo. You can see this metal tip coming out here and here. I'm guessing this is a money clip. Let's open this up. One slip of paper in here. One slip of paper inside here for card holding. Oh my gosh, the texture on the leather looks absolutely fantastic. Wow. And the money clip in here. Damn, that's satisfying. On the right side here, we see St. Laurent Paris, but embossed below that, it says made in Italy. Can you see that? It says made in Italy right there. The wall is a really simple design. Black on one side, YSL logo on the other side, money clip on the middle, and six card slots. Very epic. Wow. This is exactly the kind of wallet I like. Good job. All right, so let's take a close up look at the details of the product. Right here, we can see the YSL logo. It doesn't feel sharp at all to the skin, but visually speaking, very, very sharp looking logo. You can see the texture of the wallet. And right here, you can see the stitching. This is what it looks like. And right here, we can see what the edge of the wallet looks like. Opening up to the insides, this is what the money clip itself looks like. Ooh, it feels nice and round on this edge. Very cool. And this is what the gold foil and embossing looks like. Alright guys, so there you have it. That was the unboxing of this St. Laurent wallet. I absolutely love this wallet. Every little bit that, for example, up here and this little gold bit that comes out right here at the edge. Do you see that? Oh, I love it all. This logo over here and most specifically and most oddly, the roundness of this surface. I'm super surprised at the, the money clips roundness. It feels so nice in the hand. Shout out to Chanel for getting what I think is quite possibly the perfect wallet for me, for, for my use case specifically. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more unboxing videos and I'll talk to you guys again in the next one. Bye bye.